Well, hello, welcome to Willow Ridge Acres. As you can see, we experienced some rare South Texas snow. Uh, some of it's already starting to melt, uh, but it was a beautiful white snow here. You know, growing up in the Midwest, up there, we would have called this flurries, but down here, this is South Texas snow. Uh, but last night, Mabel, one of our great Pyrenees, gave birth to a litter of puppies. She gave birth to seven puppies, and we want to we want to share that experience with you. But before we do, I want to give you just a fair warning. Uh, the videos are just a little bit graphic. If you've got a weak stomach, uh, you may not want to watch it. Uh, just, you know, it shows some of the afterbirth and all of that. But um, this is kind of what farm living is like with livestock guardian dogs and them giving birth. So check this out. All right, we're about 24 hours in when uh, her temperature had first dropped about 24 hours ago. She's actively pushing now. It should have the uh, the first puppy in just any minute now. Mama's giving birth to the first one. We haven't seen it yet. She's she's tending to it. We've heard it. We heard it yelping a little bit. We're trying to give Mama the time to to work on it. Can you see it? Got one boy so far. Mama's cleaning him up. I don't to see you, but there he is. Yeah, he's moving around a little bit. So little. something. This is puppy number two. You're in the splash zone. <laughs> you better scoot back. Oh, there's puppy number two. There it is. What do you think, Jackson? Good. Good. We've got puppy number three. Just came out. Mama's cleaning it up. Puppy number four. Puppy number five. Oh, Mabel. Six. Yeah, that's a boy. Do you 
you think? I'm sad to share that although Mabel did have seven puppies last night, unfortunately one of them did not make it. We lost it this morning. We're still not quite sure what happened. Uh, we think maybe it got too cold uh, there in the shelter that we had built. Even with the heat lamps, uh, we found it just a little bit further away from Mabel than the other puppies and it was unresponsive. Despite our best efforts to revive it, uh, we weren't able to. So um, we actually had uh, just a little um, funeral for it on the property. We buried it in our little pet cemetery, and it was a great opportunity just to you know, teach our kids that uh, life is short, it's fragile, and that we need to, to be grateful for every single blessing that we have, the blessing of life. So unfortunately, especially on a small farm, you know, um, I've heard the saying, if you have livestock, you're gonna have dead stock as well from time to time. So it's part of farm living. Since we lost one of the puppies, we've decided to change plans. You know, the, the 10 by 10 kennel with the tarp, uh, I thought it was gonna be a great shelter for them outside, but then a cold front hit, we've got some snow. It's gonna be cold for the next week here, and the heat lamps in there just aren't cutting. It's not enough to keep the puppies and mama warm in there. I feel like if I had my pole barn built already, we would be able to keep them warm enough in the pole barn, but I just don't have that just yet. So we've decided to bring the whelping box, bring the puppies and mama inside, and we set it up in our school room. We uh, took everything out of there, we set it up in there so we can keep a better eye on the puppies uh, and uh, keep an eye on the runt of the litter and make sure that all of them will survive, that we're not gonna lose another puppy to the cold. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Would you hit like and subscribe and follow us? That way you can see next time we drop a new video. We'll see you soon.